This is for Gabriel, a buddy of mine I've been talking to four years, four years or so. I, I, I don't have a real good thing on time, but it's been a while. His dad used to ride. The cool thing about Gabriel is uh, he's younger. He's, I mean, he's probably 20, 18, 20, somewhere in there. Um, but he, he's totally old school. He's into all the old school stuff. And um, that's kind of cool. I think right. he sent in a few videos of himself riding. Yeah. Yeah, I saw those. In fact, I was talking to Gabriel way before I went on Facebook. I've been talking to him for years. Sorry, Gabriel, I don't remember how many years, but you'll understand when you get my age. Ask your dad about that one. Um, but here's the thing about the rock walk. That first part where you do that 180, you're not using your brakes. You might at first, but you're not using your brakes. That 180 is gonna lead into everything. Rolling backwards, 540s backwards, slot, you, it's, it's like the, the link to the world of tricks is getting that 180 down. And I'm going to show you, I'm going to break it down so we do this in increments of each part and uh, a good way to ease into it. So this is the rock walk how-to? This is the rock walk how-to. Uh, you already shot the, the actual. And you said this is a Bob Haro trick? This is a Bob Haro trick. When Bob Haro came down, he was an artist for the magazine, he was living at our house, living at my dad's house. Um, this was one of the, this is probably the first trick I saw him do. He was doing this and trying to roll backwards and he was, it was pretty amazing. When pretty, was that, would you say? Do you know how, 80s probably, early 80s? I don't know. I was probably, well, I know I couldn't drive because okay. Bob was driving me in his little Honda car, which was cool because he had a, one of his uh, window squirters. You know, the thing that squirts the window so you can wash it. He had it pointed yeah. to the sidewalk, so he hit it the people get wet and we just sit there and laugh. But. The windshield, the uh, the water sprayer, you guys would spray people with that? Yeah, it was funny. Yeah, it was fun. We fought like brothers, but we had a lot of good times too. All right, you want to break it down or what do you want to do now? Okay, so let's say this is the path of our rock walk. You got a 180 and then you're going to come out on with pressure on your pedal to keep your back end up. And that's how you come out of it. It looks smoother that way. Do that pedal part again. Okay, so you're gonna do the 180. When you come out of it, you can use your brakes if you want, but if you really wanna do it good and right, use your pedals. Pedal this leg is pushing down to keep your front wheel up, and it'll just kinda of guide you out of it, and that way you come out in a little, man, a little small manual. I can't do manuals. Um, but the hard part is the 180. It's really not that bad, because if you're if you're going in and you're just trying to get that whole 180, uh, it's going to be hard. But a couple of tricks: just go like a quarter of a turn, or even an eighth. You barely move and just get your line going and just hop. Okay, there's a quarter. There's the 180. So you're saying maybe start by just trying to do a small like quarter turn first to work up? Yeah, don't try to bite the whole 180. You can even just start like that, you know? Yeah. And uh, you can use your front brakes, but rock walks were kind of done at a little bit of speed and it's like click, click. And if you do the brake, it's gonna slow it down and the brake will keep you from learning that 180 where you're rolling and you got motion going. So um, if you go too far on the front end to do the 180, feel like you're gonna roll out, just grab your front brakes and it'll stop it. So here's another secret. Okay, don't come at it straight on. Start your 180 at an angle. Because if we're right here, we gotta go a whole 180. If we start at an angle, you have a lot less to rotate, right? You get that? Makes sense, yeah. You already kind of started the turn. Right. So, and this will go like, there, that's not a full 180. So I'm gonna do the rock walk with, without a full 180. So, uh, one thing I did there was, 
Okay, so I came in at an angle, so I didn't have to do a whole 180. You'll work into that. And then when I landed, see my front wheel's already turned? Your pedal will be like that. You want that wheel to roll. That's gonna give you the speed to come out of it. And then you pull up the front wheel and hit that pedal. So watch when I do that. Watch my front wheel and watch how I pedal out. In fact, I'll try to do it with my hands off the levers. And I don't know why I do this, but I did this on the infinity roll the other day. When I get back to here, my legs, either one or both, are pinching the seat. It just keeps the bike stable. So, I also run, it's a habit. It's like riding motorcycles. You always got one finger on each lever. It's just, can't seem to shake that. But uh, that's a good way to get used to riding because of your, kind of your safety fingers. Okay, so let's check this out. Okay, so. So you're doing the half turn to ride out of it too? Right. You can, you can see me good? Uh -huh. Or see what I'm doing? So, don't let this freak you out. Once you get this 180 or half 180 or wherever you start from, let's say it's your straight line right here, right? This is where we're gonna rock walk on, this straight line like this. So you're gonna do this, and if you rotate past the line a little bit, your front end will whip around so easy you won't believe it. You can even tap your rear brake if you want. So, like Bob Harlan and Ronnie Wilton were like, masters of rolling backwards rock walks 540s out of it and they always whip into it and set their tire down it's not like a crank in and blasting your tire they set it down they go a little bit past and that causes the front end to come around a lot easier you're like already halfway through it so watch when i do that i'll go a little past i'm gonna start a little bit of an angle See how quick that comes around? It's like I almost have to hit my brakes to slow that front end down. It'll just... The momentum. Yeah. So that 180, now let's talk about that 180. I am unweighting myself. Let me do this once. So I'm pushing the bars forward. I'm coming into it like this. I don't want my front end to bite. And I'm like, it's hard to explain when I'm not doing it. Okay, so, you know, these new riders talk about when they're doing nose manuals and stuff, because I really want to learn that trick. I don't know if it'll ever happen, but they actually lift their feet up on the pedals to bring their back end around. And I'm, I just realized I'm kind of doing that when I go into this. I lean forward, you know, get your 180 going, but you're gonna feel your feet kind of lift the back end up with your pedals. So it's like a, see like, I'm not moving my arms. So do you, you kind of have your weight over the bars? Yeah, I'm over the bars and man, it's a lot of it's, I didn't even know this was happening, but a lot of it's in the feet and the pedals. My arms are stiff. So you're kind of lifting the back end with your pedals and your feet. Um, that never even crossed my mind until, until I was watching this, new, these really good new school guys. And they were talking about lifting the pedals with their feet. And I was like, what? But I guess it's probably been there all along.
I've been watching you ride, Gabriel, and um, you got the skill to do this. I know this because I can see the way you ride and the tricks that you're doing and the stuff that you're trying. Um, it's just a matter of doing it. All these tricks, they seem impossible, but if you start practicing them, figure out how you're gonna get out of them, break them down, you can do them, you can do them all. I mean, it just takes time, and every time you do it, you're gonna learn a little bit. So, um, I know you can do this. I've, I've been watching you ride for a long time, and I know your skill level is there. You just gotta break that 180 barrier, and I think the world's gonna open up for you. So, enjoy chatting with you too, Gabriel. Say hi to your dad for me. So, I just wanna add one thing. Um, Rick Allison, I, I'm sure you guys saw that handstand press he did which was done a long time ago. Man, that is so hard to do. That's, that's up there with the new tricks today, I'm telling you, that's just insane. He's, anyways, he balances on his bars straight up and down. That's incredible. But Rick Allison does a lot of old school tricks and he's got a lot of how-tos. So he sent me a thing, he's got like 12 how-tos. So check out Rick Allison and his how-tos as well if you want some more stuff.